spa treatments. These skincare products I wish I didn't need to love. <laughs> my experience with acne is far reaching and I have struggled a lot with blemishes throughout my years. Even currently I'm having a back breakout and I've also got this guy who's not paying rent on my face. And needless to say, I have lots of spot treatments that I love and some that I don't love so much. Today we'll be ranking seven of them, talking about how they do or don't work on my acne prone skin. And I wanna make it clear, people think that spot treatments are acne treatments technically that's not true an acne treatment is something that helps to work with existing acne like a spot treatment does but acne treatments are also supposed to prevent new breakouts from happening and when you think about it a spot treatment you're only putting it on a spot so you're not applying it all over to prevent new breakouts so just keep that in mind I do love spot treatments but not all of them and that is what we will be discussing so remember that spot treatments are for things like this an emergency maybe you want to use some underneath a mask basically something that you're trying to use to treat a pimple quickly and there are different types that can dry out the skin or actually moisturize the skin while working on blemishes so as always this is what did or didn't work for me and my acne prone skin I am acne prone and oily with a little bit of redness and irritation and to start off this one was just not it for me this is from fully on and I actually like some of their caffeine infused creams for my entire face but this is the clarifying spot gel for oil control and I found that this did nothing it didn't overly irritate my skin, it didn't overly burn my skin, but for someone who deals with pimples, I need something that's going to work and this just wasn't it. It does have willow bark extract, which can actually be worked on by your skin into a form that is similar to salicylic acid, which is why a lot of companies claim that it can help, but I found this stuff to just kind of smell funny. It has cleary extract in it and it actually has ginger. And if anything, my skin was just not a fan of it. Again, it didn't do anything harmful to me, but it really didn't help my skin in any way. And the whole thing on it is that it says it's for oily to combination skin and it says oil control. I actually felt like this gave my skin a little bit of a do. This didn't wick oil off my face. It didn't get rid of the oil. It didn't help the condition. So for me, out of the seven spot treatments that I ripped out of my bathroom drawer this morning, this one is going to be number one, as in one out of 10 stars, would not recommend. Now number two also has willow bark extract, but this also has salicylic acid at 0.5%. This is from Ren. It is the non-drying acne treatment gel. So it's supposed to be a little bit more moisturizing and non-drying, but I actually found this to be quite drying. You see, the second ingredient is denatured alcohol, which is totally fine in skincare. It can help to dry out a pimple, but it can also help products penetrate in deeper. I don't know the way this brand formulated these things, but I'm assuming that that's what's going on based on how how these ingredients are set up and how the product actually feels on skin. However, when we talk about that feeling on skin, it definitely feels more drying and I don't feel like it did anything for my acne breakouts. Definitely made a couple of them a little bit flaky, but that was about it. Also, if you've noticed, this is like an orange color. This actually oxidized and it is not supposed to be this color. Essentially, there are ingredients in here that are plant extracts that basically went bad. And unfortunately, I haven't even been able to use the full product or give it to someone else before that happened. Ren is a brand that kind of brands themselves as clean skincare. They use a lot of these plant extracts, which do have the ability to go bad, especially since they are harder to preserve in water-based formulas, which this is. This is also why preservatives are important so that products don't go bad. And Ren is one of those lines that I feel like for me, a lot of their products are either really hit or really miss. Like they have this jelly pink cleanser that is totally to die for and it's great. They also have this toner that is like sunshine in a bottle. It's like a more gentle version of like the Ordinary's glycolic acid toning solution. But then they have other products like this and I'm just like, no, or their sunscreen. I was just like, I tried, I tried to love it, I really can't. I believe this is available at Sephora, but just know that it dried out my skin. On top of willow bark extract, it also has like a pine extract. It does have some lactic acid, which could provide some exfoliation, but this was just not the biggest hit for me. And um, especially the way it made my skin feel, the way it went bad after like a couple weeks after me opening it. I was disappointed and I would not buy this again. Then we get into a product that I actually really used to love and I still like this. The only thing is that I've found things that do work a little bit better. This is a salicylic acid spot treatment from Dermalogica and this is actually meant to work on dark spots and like age spots as well. So if you're someone who struggles with acne blemishes but you also get those pigmentation marks left behind, this is what's supposed to help. And what's really cool is that this has this nice pen tip applicator and I've actually used this. I probably purchased two 
maybe three of these at this point, but it's an acne clearing gel that actually goes out in this pen-like formation. And it's great because I don't waste product and I actually put it where it needs to go. Now this does have salicylic acid in it. It's at 2%. And this also has niacinamide. It has malic acid, which is an AHA. So we have AHAs and BHAs in this. And it does have witch hazel, which again, I don't hate in skincare, especially in a spot treatment, witch hazel can be pretty good. Now the thing about this is that I've never loved the smell, but again, I don't care how a product smells for me. I just want it to work for me, right? But this does have rosemary, lavender, and citrus oils in it. Now, if you're sensitive to oils or to fragrances, this is not going to be your best friend. I used this for a long time and I really liked it. But now when I use it, um, I do find that A, I have more effective salicylic acid treatments that I like, but also B, I've become a little bit more sensitive to citrus over time. It's really bergamot oil, grapefruit oil, and a little bit of citrus, maybe like orange or lemon that can irritate my skin. It is not bad. It is not a full blown allergic reaction. It's just something that my face doesn't love as much anymore. So I've been lightening up on it and avoiding it when I notice it in products. So even though I used to love this a while ago, and I do think it works great for dark spots, my biggest issue isn't the dark spots. My biggest issue are these cystic pimples that pop up along my jawline and along my face that are actually really painful. And I found that although I do like this, it's a little bit more on the expensive side and it's just not the best out there for me. Now I would say if you do have more mature skin and you're worried about anti-aging, which you know I don't like that term, but if you're worried about like pigmentation marks and you want something that's gentle but effective, then yes, use this. I think it's really good. But if you are sensitive to fragrance, if you need something that is really a powerhouse and if you have cystic acne, this is just not what I would recommend for you. Then we jump into this guy that I was surprised by. This is from K-Beauty. I got it from Stylevana and this is called the Circle Red Spot Cream. When I first got this, I was like, what are you talking about? When you actually look at the ingredients, you realize why it's white. This is basically zinc oxide, which Yes, you find in sunscreen. But on top of zinc oxide, this also has sulfur and tea tree. Sulfur is really cool. It's been medically proven to help with acne, but it can also help with fungal infections, which yes, could include pterosperum or malassezia folliculitis, which some people call fungal acne, but it's really not. But even for fungal issues like seborrheic dermatitis or like issues elsewhere with fungal irritations of the skin or tinea versicolor, which can kind of happen elsewhere on the body, sulfur is really good for fungal infections as well as for acne, which is Awesome for some people. This also has tea tree in it. Tea tree we know is antimicrobial and antibacterial. It is not a replacement for an antibiotic and nor is it the same as antibiotics. However, it has been shown in medical studies to help and tea tree oil when diluted and when formulated properly into a product really does work. So as you can see, I can kind of blend this into my skin. You can either dot it on and just leave it like as a spot treatment like this, or you can actually rub it into the skin. I found that this is a really cool sulfur treatment that doesn't dry my skin out as much as some other sulfur treatments. There's the Sonia Dakar Blemish Buster, which I used to love. Still love that one. That one's probably one of my favorite sulfur treatments. But um, this one is less drying and less irritating. And although it doesn't work overnight, no spot treatment will, I do find that this works pretty well and it does kind of help to take down some of the irritation for me. Again, not overly drying, works relatively well. It's a really decent treatment. This comes in at fourth on the list and um, I really love this one. Also, isn't that cute? Look at that, that's so cute. <laughs> then we get into the salicylic acid treatment that actually puts these other salicylic acid acne treatments to shame. This is from Murad. It's the Acne Control Rapid Relief Acne Spot Treatment and it does have 2% salicylic acid, but it also has other ingredients in here that can help blemishes and the skin and that actually stop my skin from being overly dried out. This salicylic acid treatment is really good. I do wish that it was less expensive. I feel like you could use this entire thing as a serum. It's a little bit more on the pricey side but if you do have acne, especially if you're in your 20s or 30s, maybe you don't have the oiliest of skin, so you don't want to dry everything out, but you want something that works well and quickly, this is one of the better salicylic acid spot treatments that I've tried. When you look at the ingredients, it does have witch hazel and alcohol, and again, I don't hate those in a formula. In this one, I really think it helps things penetrate deeper and actually helps it kind of get rid of the pimple. The 2% salicylic acid, as always, works as a keratolytic agent, meaning it exfoliates the skin. Salicylic acid is BHA, beta hydroxy acid, 
and it's oil soluble. So it goes into the pore and helps dissolve that oil, exfoliate the dead skin cells off and help to get rid of some of the bacteria and the oil that the bacteria feeds on. This does have silica, it also has oat and it has yeast amino acids. These are actually quite soothing to the skin and that's why I found that this doesn't irritate my skin more. Have you ever used those spot treatments that like you put a spot treatment on and it gets rid of the pimple but then five more appear, kind of like when you pick them? This is one that doesn't do that. Whereas with other salicylic acid acne products, I've kind of found that that tends to happen to me. For a salicylic acid acne spot treatment, this is not my absolute favorite, but if you just want salicylic acid like on its own with a couple of supporting ingredients, then yes, this is what I would go for. Full stop. The like button is also breaking out, just like me. Can you please give that like button a spot treatment? It'll actually work on its delicate blue skin. <gasps> that is so much better. The like button is happy, it's not dried out, but its pimple is being reduced in size and inflammation. Ah, oh, we love that. The like button just said thank you. It just said thank you. The subscribe button needs your help too, but their acne is different. Maybe we'll give them a pimple patch. How about that? Amazing. Now back to spot treatments. Then we get to number two. And number two versus number one was so hard for me. I was like, which of these do I feature as number one? Because I love both of them so much. But this one is a little bit more drying and therefore irritating, which is why it comes in at number two. But this one is also super affordable. This is the Acne Free Terminator 10. It's a 10% benzoyl peroxide spot treatment. And man, when I say this gets rid of pimples, this gets rid of pimples. Be careful because this also stains. Uh, for me, it's stains my bed sheets, my pillowcases, and even like my shirt if I get it on it. And that's because benzoyl peroxide, peroxide, it does bleach things. Benzoyl peroxide works by a bond inside of it breaking. And when that happens, it releases oxygen. This happens in the presence of heat. And guess what's warm? your skin. Now you see acne cannot live in the presence of oxygen. The bacteria that causes acne is anaerobic, meaning it doesn't like oxygen. So by benzoyl peroxide and giving it that oxygen, it helps to kill the bacteria. On top of that, benzoyl peroxide is exfoliating, so it helps to remove the little plugs of dead skin cells on top of the skin. And this one is, yes, available at the drugstore. As all of these are, it's cruelty-free. It is a severe spot treatment, but if you want something dried up and gone, this is it. If you have oily skin, you're probably going to love this but if you have dry skin, I would say stay away. If you have combo skin, you could use it. Just be aware of the drying, be okay with that. You know, some people like to dry out their spots and some people don't. The biggest thing is that if you are using benzoyl peroxide or if you are drying out your spots, make sure that you are putting on a moisturizer just so that that doesn't turn into a scar or it doesn't exasperate any post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation because often acne can be coupled with that. Then we get to my absolute favorite spot treatment that is non-drying but effective for acne that works so well on my skin. It's really fun to use and it's inexpensive. Now, if you've watched my videos for over three years, you know the answer used to be the Tarte Blemish Bully. That was one of my favorite spot treatments, but they discontinued it. it. Had salicylic acid, but it also had azelaic acid. It was like a blend of ingredients that really didn't dry out skin, but worked well. But when they got rid of it, I was struggling for so long to find a spot treatment that didn't dry out my skin that actually worked on my pimples. And then for less than the price of two overpriced cups of mermaid coffee, this stuff waltzes into my life. This is the Inky List Succinic Acid Acne Treatment. It's a trifecta of salicylic acid, succinic acid, and sulfur, and I cannot tell you how much I love this. This is this little green tube of magic that costs $8.99 at Sephora. It is so fun to put on my skin. And yes, it is a spot treatment, so you do just wanna spot it on, but like if you blend it into your skin, I can kind of use it as an all over acne treatment and as like a serum. And because it's only $8, like I can afford to do that. Whereas with some of these more expensive ones, I couldn't afford to put this all over my face because this tube is like what, 80 bucks? But this is absolutely phenomenal. We have the salicylic acid, which we've spoken about, that beta hydroxy acid. We also have the sulfur in here, which we know can also help with bacterial and fungal issues. But on top of that, this has succinic acid. It's an ingredient that's been around like for freaking ever. Like, like since ducks found water. <laughs> and the reason why is because it's actually part of the Krebs cycle or the TCA cycle that happens in our bodies and in our cells. Basically, this is how our body and different cells and organisms make energy, adenosine triphosphate or ATP, which you've probably heard of. But succinate is part of that process and succinic acid, this is related. This one is actually derived from corn. But basically the acne bacteria that's causing breakouts needs to proliferate. It needs to grow and reproduce, right? If we kind of throw a wrench inside 
inside of that process and basically off balances the entire way that these organisms reproduce, which helps them stop reproducing. Now I have seen third party medical studies on this that are just on succinic acid. So not the blend, but just succinic acid that were done on human skin that showed a reduction in acne. That study also compared succinic acid to salicylic acid, found that it was comparable. It also showed that it killed some bacteria and it helps to exfoliate. Obviously succinic acid is not FDA approved to do these things because taking succinic acid from succinate is a new way of kind of isolating this. Now I love it. It works for my skin. If you look at other people's testimonials, they seem to love it too. For me, it is effective. It is inexpensive. It is fun to use. The medical studies and data are not as robust as many people wish they were, including myself. I wish there were more medical studies on these, but based on how it works for me, my anecdotal experience, based on how it works for others, and based on the medical studies that I've seen done by dermatologists on human skin, this stuff is really amazing. And it's $8.99. It is $8.99. This is my favorite spot treatment. And even if the Tarte Blemish Bully still existed, I do like this one better. I mean, it's green and it disappears into my skin. It also doesn't make me oily. Do you see how I'm like not a grease ball? Like it's mattifying, but it doesn't like suck all of the moisture out of my skin. Like it leaves it balanced. It leaves it almost like with this, it's not dewy, but it's not dry touch. I just, I love it. Don't apply too much because if you apply it in gobs, it can pill. And I know because I love this so much, I tried to use it as a moisturizer. It is a spot treatment, not a moisturizer, but I sometimes use it as a serum or as a spot treatment and it works for my face. So I'm gonna apply it to this little guy. If you haven't thrown a spot treatment on the like button, be sure to do so because he's breaking out. And if you haven't subscribed and joined the community, the kaleidoscope community, did you know that kaleidoscope is the actual term for like a group of butterflies? Flies. If you didn't know, now you know. Join the Kaleidoscope community by clicking that button and becoming a beautiful butterfly and always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. I love you and your face and I cannot wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye.